Do you want to edit this into like video clip? Well, my favorite new thing that I learned here at this training was about um, OneNote. OneNote is a great application and a tool that I can use to improve my teaching and communication with other teachers as well with my students. I think it provides an opportunity for students to develop a portfolio that they can easily use to follow their career through the rest of their time at present. and tools that you can use with uh, Microsoft and also the best ways to implement projects and learning in the classroom. And what was your favorite tool that you learned? I think currently it would be OneNote because of the fact that it's um, kind of agnostic. It can go between all these different tools, different devices, and allows you to expand and organize not only lessons but uh, information. What were you inspired to do with students? Uh, Project-based boot learning was the big one, trying to find a way to take all these tools and actually apply it to a concept or a problem. And then also we just found a professional development program online that we think would be fantastic for uh, educators and administrators to apply at their schools to give them a head start and a leg up on getting technology implemented, implemented into the classroom. Okay. That's how it <laughs> That's, that's sexy uh, did you have fun today? <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's great working with your colleagues and partners. And so, did you meet any new people? Yes, I did. I met lots of new people. And did you get any new ideas? Um, yes, I think um, because I'm not a Microsoft-based person, I think a lot of the new things I learned um, will be very beneficial to my work. Perfect. little um, overwhelmed, uh, but I think your intermediate to advanced users would, would, uh, would do a great job with this. And um, I think even the beginning teacher would, would, would gain a lot from it, but I really think your intermediate or advanced can bring it back to the school site in a way that, that maybe the beginners couldn't. So. And then, specifically, like, do you think administrators and teachers could be in the session together? Well, sure, because there's a couple of us. Uh, <laughs> there's a few administrators and a few teachers here now. Yeah, I absolutely think they could. I think it's good because it, it for those administrators that don't have this background and maybe are, are a site administrator rather than a technology administrator, I think they this would be real eye-opening for them. And it might sort of be that moment when that teacher can lean over to them and sort of say, see, see what I've been talking about? And uh, um, and not in a bad way, but in a, in a look what we can do for kids. Look look, look how great this is for this, the, the kids in our school. So, yeah, absolutely. I think, I think they should attend together. And learn more. And I think this is always a good training because you can always learn something new. There's you, you, Everything keeps changing. And so it's great to continue having these MIEs because we always need a refresh. Finish what I was trying to do. Okay. So okay. So, what did you get out of the MAE training? Okay, I really enjoyed learning about OneNote, and uh, I needed a refresh on the SkyDrive. And I think the SkyDrive is a pretty powerful tool for teachers to collaborate. And it was nice to learn today that even if someone doesn't own OneNote, um, they can still collaborate through SkyDrive. And um, it's also a great way for students to upload their work so that when they get home, they can still continue with their work using SkyDrive. And I really like learning about the tips and tricks because those are things that are really, teachers are really hungry for, and it's a great way to kind of hook them in. Say, hey, let me show you some tips today. And then they're <clears throat> usually open open to wanting to even learn more. And I think this is always a good training because you can always learn something new. There's
I do like that I can use have light on the left. Okay, how do you find a picture to put on your sky drive? Depends on where you put it, I suppose. I put it in my picture folder on my sky drive and I want to embed it in my oh, document. Open sky drive. I have it open. Oh. Should be there. I don't see sky drive open. Where's it? Back here. This, this is my sky drive oh, back here. Are you in pictures? No. It's like you're an overview. You need to be in yeah. pictures. Well, I'm in my document. I have the pictures in my picture file. It's SkyDrive. What is it? SkyDrive.com. Is it just SkyDrive? There are not lots of that one. I'm really hoping that uh, you can strip audio out in uh, Windows Media Player. You don't need to. Mm -hmm. 